Are you ready to find out what work from home jobs or work you can do remotely this 2025 that will involve AI? In this video, I'm going to break down the jobs that I see are going to be very AI either centered or AI related or jobs that will foresee basically where a lot of the people who are currently doing it will start to use AI more and more. Like I always say, you're not going to be replaced by AI, you're going to be replaced by the people who are using AI. So if you are considering a career on any of these fields, then it might be a little bit time to start diving through on what you can do with AI. And of course, there are a ton of videos on this channel and so many others where you can start learning that for yourself as well. Now, the first type of job that you can probably do working from home, working remotely with AI is prompt engineering. Now, this is a skill or to be honest, it started out as a job like people were thinking and it still is. It's a legit job they can do. But honestly, it is more of a skill. Now, what prompt engineering is, is learning how to ask better questions to get what you want from AI. Just like anything else in life, garbage in, garbage out, if you don't know how to prompt AI the best way, then you're not going to get the best results as well. So prompt engineering is the skill of asking good questions or prompting the right way with AI. Now, there's a ton of different resources you can study to learn this skill. But honestly, once you learn this, once you are a prompt engineer, you can start applying this to any type of role or job that you want, especially as you come up with your own creative ways of how to add it to what you're currently doing. So as a job for prompt engineering, this is something that you can either give as a freelance, like a service that you can do for a couple of clients, or there are actual companies that are hiring remotely for this work. And since AI isn't yet added into schools, if you right now, study go ahead and learn all you can about ai then by the time that you feel more con more and more confident and you start applying for jobs you're going to be way above everyone else who's trying to apply for this job and they haven't even touched ai in the first place you just see it as a buzzword they expect these companies to train them versus of course you can train yourself the next couple of jobs are jobs that you currently have and will have some one way or the other form of AI added into it. Now, the first category is more on the content side, which is where I love and thrive. The first one is being a graphic designer with AI. Now, this could be a mix of using tools like Midjourney or Dolly when it comes to generating beautiful images. But again, prompt engineering is a skill here. Another one is using tools like Canva and Adobe Photoshop where you can start adding things into what you create with AI. So it is enhancing and making your job a little bit faster and easier using AI. However, you still do need graphic design skills for this. This is not something you can do just because you know how to prompt engineer. You do need to have the skills of a graphic artist or a graphic designer to be able to do this because AI is not a substitute or a replacement of you. It is a multiplier of a skill you already have. So if you're thinking of like, hey, I'm already a graphic designer, I want to add AI to it, that's one way that you can either charge more or you can have it as an add-on for your current client. But again, I have to stress that if you're someone who's really good at AI but you have no graphic artist background or experience, this might not be the place for you. Next is video editor. Now, for a lot of my clips on YouTube for the YouTube shorts, a lot of that is generated with AI. We use a tool called Opus AI, where basically it cuts off a really big clip like this into smaller chunks. But we still have an amazing video editor looking at each of those clips to make sure that one, the captions make sense and two, it cuts off at the right time. It's not perfect yet. So again, if you are a current video editor, this is an add on to your skill. But if you are someone who doesn't really have a lot of skill there, you will still have to learn the video editing skills to be able to do this. Next is copywriter. And this is something that I started doing way, way back when AI was still just coming out. It's how to use it for copywriting for my own social media strategy. So copywriting, again, you need to have the skill of copywriting, but you can use tools like Claude and of course ChatGPT to be able to rewrite or repurpose content you might already have and just make it friendlier for the platform you want to post for. You can use it for generating ideas for content, whatever that looks like for you. But again, you still need to have at least the basics or the experience and the skill of being a copywriter to use AI with copywriting because AI sounds the same if you just 
take it as is so it's best that you do have some copywriting skills and background to be able to edit to make it sound less ai always treat ai output as a draft and not as your final output that you're giving out to your client and of course as best you can be ethical with ai do tell your clients like hey i'm using this x y and z tool however i still double check before i give it out to you to make sure that it doesn't sound like ai and of course there's being a content strategist where you have ai look at the current data of your current client of what it looks like what where they get the most engagement and then you start creating a strategy from there on what they could focus on what they can do less of basically so whatever that looks like for you and your client it is basically having ai just scan through probably months and months of data to be able to know what kind of content really works for that brand for that industry or for what which basically target market you're trying to target for so basically ai just kind of aids you on that again you do still need to have a skill of someone who can understand numbers and know how to take action from numbers but again these are one of the things that ai can aid you on as you're looking for this type of job next is an automations creator now if you're someone who loves connecting the dots if you're someone who loves using multiple tools or if you're someone who's already explored zapier or if this then that as a tool before then becoming an automations creator might be a little bit easier or might come naturally to you using tools like make.com or even still zapier you can be the person who connects the dots for different companies on how their tools interact with each other that way it's not it doesn't have to be a manual thing uh the really good example inside of 2xu our onboarding sequence is almost perfect there's a couple things that still need a lot of human input but when it comes to the moment that a client says yes and pays an invoice there's an email that they get sent out the manual part is still we're generating essentially the job ad for that client for their virtual assistant but then afterwards everything else is sent off with ai so that is what i mean by you can look at someone's current process and start picking out like oh yeah you're using hubspot that's connected to quickbooks from quickbooks that like, connected to gmail so it sends basically once the invoice is confirmed so on and so forth it's basically looking at what their current tech stack would be and where you can connect it and creating the automation to make their lives a little bit easier next time next is you can apply for jobs as an ai consultant now that is something that i currently do i am an ai consultant for different companies and there's two different branches that i would recommend if you do want to hone in on this the first one is kind of an ai ethics or ai guide kind of consultant so you're not going into someone's business right away you're helping them create the guidelines of where ai should be and where ai shouldn't be so just like i mentioned earlier if you are going to go into the content side of types of jobs and use ai you need to disclose like hey i'm using this tool don't just have them believe that that is completely you when you've had ai aid you and it's the same thing as an ai ethics consultant is you're trying to help them discover what boundaries employers would want to put in on how their employees can use ai on a day-to-day -day basis because AI is here. Many employers are trying to comply and make sure that AI actually aids them rather than uh, hurts basically the company in the long run. So as an AI ethics consultant, you can help them out with setting those guidelines. Now, another one is more of what I do where I basically help consult where they can put AI automations. Now, whether or not I'm doing it or they want to do it in-house, my job and my focus is to look at the map of where their business is at and point out any inefficiencies, start documenting, creating operation systems for them, and then start creating the automations to make sure that things actually make sense to where they want to go, not just making connections, but then not having it actually work overall within the whole company. So depending on your comfort level of consulting and helping people have AI into in their business, you can choose whether you want to be more of the AI ethics consultant or more of the AI automations consultant. Next is a chatbot trainer. Now I put this a little bit lower on the list mostly because this is something I can easily see could be fast replaceable. But if you learn this as early as that, it's going to be easy. But it's basically training a chatbot on the knowledge base of a company into being able to respond knowing all the knowledge base so it's a really good example if you guys go to 2xu.com we have a chat bot in there that has been trained in the basically 2021 to 2023 uh, basically of, of my content on YouTube and you can ask any questions and we'll answer basically as if it was me based on my content it still needs human kind of training of going back and forth with it because you're training it on your data as well as making sure that it doesn't just make things up so that is another 
title and job that you can definitely apply for working from home. And lastly, but not least, if you don't really want to do and go through a lot of AI, you can be an AI project manager. So this is for AI products basically that are coming out. Let's say you're not as adept yet when it comes to AI, but you're, re you're a pretty good project manager. These are the one of the fastest high paying jobs at the moment, just because a project manager, again, you don't need to have AI as a background or experience. It's good to kind of have a base knowledge of it, but then you're managing the people in the team who are creating these AI products for people. You're making sure the pipeline is clean. You're making sure they have what they need. If there's any problems, you help address it. So you're working with the team in producing these AI tools and products, whatever it is that it looks like. And there's a ton of, of jobs that are hiring right now. Before I made this whole video, I went into LinkedIn, started searching for a few just to make sure that these are actual jobs you can do remotely. So if you have any suggestions yourself, make sure to comment them below, hit like, if you guys of course enjoyed this video if it gave you some insight on where to start yourself and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every sunday and thursday on how to work from home and how to run a business from home using ai which you guys can check out the soup playlist right here and the latest video right here hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye